एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In this part of the video, we will be learning about two different components of the forces, which is conservative force and a non-conservative force. If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by S. John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. Welcome to S. John Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia. We are learning. the course which is engineering mechanics and topic for today would be the type of forces which is conservative and non conservative forces so here we will be demonstrating this conservative and non conservative forces with the help of certain examples and with the help of a mathematical model apart from that we will be learning about the curl of a force field with this topic so what is conservative and what is non conservative forces so basically uh, it is somewhat which is related to path and the initial coordinates with which the force is associated so let us uh, straight away come to the definitions of this conservative and non conservative forces so a force is said to be conservative if the work done against the force depends on the initial and final position of the body that means the body was at the initial position and the body was at the final position the midway or the path that the body follows has no role to play while deciding the type of force so as i have told you that it only depends upon the initial and final position of the body and not on the nature of the path which is being followed whereas in case of a non conservative force uh the work done against the force in uh, in moving the body it depends upon the path followed the reverse of the same but it uh, does not depends upon the initial and the final position rather it depends upon the path which is being followed by the body so there are certain examples of conservative and non conservative forces let's say gravitational force so gravitational force depends upon the initial and the final position electrostatic force is also an example of the conservative force the spring force or you can say the elastic force is also an example of the conservative force considering certain examples of the non conservative force so what do we have we have a normal force which is a force which is maybe a maybe a force required to pull an object or push an object the force of friction or any applied force push or a pull that is basically a non conservative force tension is also a non conservative force because it depends upon the path that the system follows not on the initial and the final positions let us uh, look at uh, the details of the conservative forces as i have told you that the work done by the conservative force is <coughs> independent on the path that means we have two points let's say a and b and i am moving from a point to b point via path a a point to b point via path 2 and a point to b point via path 3 so this force does not depend upon the path rather it depends upon the coordinate points that means when i want to find out the value of w which is work done work done is having the formula force into distance and i'll be integrating it with respect to two points so which is a and b two points after integrating i will be putting those values of the points here so the type of force is called as a conservative force so these forces with which the path of the work done is independent that is called as a conservative force so only dependent on the initial and the final position not dependent on the path this i have told you what is conservative and what is non conservative now non conservative forces if i would elaborate more so work done by this non conservative forces would be dependent on the path so when it is the non conservative force it would not depend upon the a or b point rather it would depend upon the path that is being followed we stop here for a short break 
um, we have learned so far about the type of forces which is conservative and non-conservative forces. We would be learning more details about the same topic after the break. Now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep. S. Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on AICTE curriculum as per the New Education Policy 2020. So do not forget to subscribe to the S. Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S. Chand Academy. Happy learning! Welcome back after the break. Before going to the break, we have learned about the types of forces, namely conservative and non-conservative forces and also we have seen certain examples associated with it. Now in this uh, part of the video, we will be learning about the curl of the conservative force. So we will be given a, a, a force which is let's say a conservative force and we will be finding out the curl of that particular force. So the topic is curl of the conservative force. So curl as I have mentioned in my previous videos that curl of F is del cross F and what is that del? Del is a particular operator which is denoted by I del by del X plus J del by del Y plus K del by del Z and F which is the force conservative force it is having an expression fxi plus fyj plus fzk and this ijk are the unit vectors. So what I need to do, I need to put the two values here and I need to find out the curl of that particular force. So force is fx which is force is fxi plus fyj plus fzk and uh, from this expression that we have seen in the previous videos f is equal to minus del u that means if i substitute the value of del and u in this expression i will get the value of fx which is minus del u by del x fy which is minus del u by del y and fz as minus del u by del z how can uh, we get that same part let us elaborate so minus del y del x plus this is i times plus j times del by del y plus k times del by del z of u. So if I multiply the same what do I get minus i times del u by del x plus j times del u by del y plus k times del u by del z and that is particularly equal to this force value which is fx i plus fyj plus fzk so on comparing we will get this value minus del u by del x as fx minus del u by del y as fy and minus del u by del z as fz now what i want to find out i want to find out the curl of this conservative force so how to get that curl is represented by this expression which is uh, a matrix i j and k and uh, curl of this was del cross f so i need to have the value of del so you know that del is i del by del x plus j del by del y plus k del by del z so i need to substitute this value of del in the second row which is del by del x del by del y del by del z and similarly whose del i need to find out the del of f so f has these three components which is the x component as del by del x minus and f y is minus del u by del y and f z is minus del u by del z so these values i have substituted here in the expression now how to solve it how to get the final result from the same so in order to solve it i need to write here three terms plus minus and plus so when i write plus here so i need to have plus i 
then there is a bracket what to get in this bracket or what to write in this bracket I need to write this which is del by del y of minus del u by del z then a minus then the multiplication of these two so minus del by del z of minus du by dy so this is the first half which is i's part and similarly for j what do i get j times so for j i need to have or i need to cross these two which is the first row and the second column so what is left this multiplied by this value so del by del x multiplied by minus du by dz minus this into this minus del by del z of minus times du by dx so this minus and minus gets plus then plus k so here the term which comes is minus j because the part was plus minus and plus so I'm just repeating plus i is for i I need to remove the first row and the first column multiply them I'll get this value then for j minus j and first row second column is to be removed and for k what I need to do I need to remove the first row and the third column so plus k first row and the third column if it is removed what do I get del by del x of minus du by dy then again a minus minus and minus becomes plus plus del by del y of del u by del x now what to do I need to club or combine the expressions so del by del y of this part so del by del y of this part is to be combined so it would be del y by del z minus del d to u by dy dz and uh, for the second part I need to club these two so dz and dy is to be clubbed so what do I write dz into dy and then on the above part d to u by same and for the next uh, condition I need to club this dx and dy and minus is outwards so dx and dy is same and minus is out outwards so minus d to u by dx and dz and for the next part dz and dx is combined so it would be d to u by dz dx and thirdly I have dx and dy clubbed and minus du by dy is remaining so minus d to u by dx dy and for the next part it would be d to u by dx dy d to u by dx and dy so this would be the final expression so if I want to club them together I'll get a final result and that result would be uh, the multiple or an expression which would be related to the conservative forces so with this we come to the end of uh, the part in which we have seen uh, the possibility of obtaining the curl of a conservative force wherein we learned that the conservative force is a function of three different forces and we need to substitute them in the expression of the curl and get the final expression by solving the matrix with the help of a standard matrix calculation formula thank you if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by s john publishing link is provided in the description box if you found our video interesting please like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon. All rights reserved. 
This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.